German Chancellor Olaf Scholz condemned the war in Ukraine in a phone call Friday with Russian President Vladimir Putin, the German government said, in the first such conversation in two years. Government spokesman Stefan Hebestreit said Scholz condemned Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine during the call, and called on Putin to end it by withdrawing troops that invaded the country in February 2022. The Chancellor urged Russia to be willing to negotiate with Ukraine with the aim of achieving a just and lasting peace and stressed Germany's unwavering determination to support Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression for as long as necessary, Hebestreit said in a statement. Scholz had spoken beforehand with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, and would do so again after the call with Putin, the statement said. The German leader condemned Russian air raids on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure and warned that the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia to fight in the war against Ukraine would mark a serious escalation of the conflict. The United States, South Korea and Ukraine say North Korea has sent thousands of troops to Russia to support its war against Ukraine. The German government statement did not say how long the call with Putin lasted, but German news agency DPA said it was about one hour. The Russian government did not immediately have any comment about the call. The call comes as the conflict nears next Tuesday's 1,000-day mark since the February 24, 2022 invasion by Russian troops. A protest was held in the so-called Republic of Abkhazia to protest the investment agreement with Russia. The information was spread on Telegram channels. Thousands of protesters gathered in front of the parliament. The parliament was planning to consider the investment agreement with Russia on November 15. However, the meeting was postponed due to the protest. Protesters who entered the parliament premises are demanding that the deputies vote against the agreement. It should be noted that according to the investment agreement signed in the Russian capital Moscow, Russian business will receive great privileges in Abkhazia, as well as land and property rights. Russia, which demanded the approval of the agreement, has stopped financing the Abkhazian budget. Hundreds of Iraqis took to the streets of Baghdad after Friday prayers to protest against Israel and its Western allies over the war in the Middle East. Protesters, many of whom were followers of influential Shia leader Muqtada al-Sadr, burned flags of the US, the UK and Israel during the demonstration. 
They also waved Palestinian and Lebanese flags and chanted anti-Israel slogans. We have decided to speak against the Zionist and American crimes of killing children, women, and elderly people, said Hakim al-Zamli, a member of Iraqi parliament. اليوم كانت هناك تظاهرة في موقع صلاة الجمعة في مدينة الصدر هذه الصلاة هي أكبر صلاة في العراق ولذلك قلنا كلمتنا ضد الجرائم الصهيونية والجرائم الأمريكية بقتل الأطفال وقتل النساء وقتل الشيوخ وتخريب البنى التحتية وحرق الأشجار وتدمير ما يمكن تدميره لذلك كانت كلمتنا واضحة بأمر من سماحة القائد مقتدى الصدر أعزه <تصفيق> باسمه تعالى يدعوكم مشروع وهناك قتل يجري وهناك صمت عربي واسلامي ودولي ضد هذه الجرائم التي تقتل الاطفال والنساء والشيء الله اكبر at least 10 people died in a blaze at a nursing home in Zaragoza, Spain before firefighters managed to extinguish it, local authorities reported on Friday. Authorities were alerted of the blaze early Friday morning in Villa Franca de Ebro, about 30 minutes from the northeastern city. The cause of the fire was not yet known, local media reported. Jorge Azcon, head of the regional government of Aragon, whose capital city is Zaragoza, confirmed the deaths and said on X, formerly Twitter, that all government events in the region were cancelled for the day. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez also expressed his shock over the fire and deaths. The fire took place just weeks after devastating flash floods in Valencia killed more than 200 people and destroyed thousands of homes. The floods were the worst natural disaster in Spain's recent history. Cuidado, por favor, retírense, por favor. Por favor.